Whoa, this looks amazing. What a nice transformation. It's really, really nice. This is actually a place I want to hang out now. It's really depressing before. <laughs> Hey folks, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Bracken. I'm Lindsay and this is Tiny Notes from Home. We hope to challenge, encourage, and inspire you on your journey with Jesus, for he is the way, the truth, and the life. In this week's video, we're going to give you guys a big update on this giant house project. And we're going to show you our relatively quick and easy kitchen makeover. Here we go. So before we jump into the kitchen uh, makeover and the big reveal, we have a few housekeeping announcements for you guys. We will make these as quick and simple as possible, but if you want to jump straight to the kitchen, you can skip ahead to this time. Let's check in with the boys for a few quick announcements. Thanks to everyone who entered one of our three giveaways from last week's video. As a quick reminder, we're putting a nickel in a jar for every new subscriber that we get between now and November. We're going to give half of it to a random subscriber and the other half to one of our missionary friends. Please help us reach 200,000 subscribers. If you've entered to win the soap, music, and mug, stay tuned for the end of this video for the winner. And if you entered to win the music recording equipment, stay tuned to a future video for more details. Also, Mommy's Sparrow Song Soap is now available for sale. All right, thanks for all those announcement boys and now on with some details about the house. This is a 100 year old farmhouse in the mountains of western North Carolina. We've lived here about two years now and we really love the place. Um, a brother from our church owns this house and we are fixing it up in exchange for our rent. It's a win-win situation for us and for the brother who owns this property. We will get a little bit of equity out of the house when we move out from here for some of the additional work we've done on the house above and beyond our agreement. So we're super blessed, super thankful. So when we moved into this house two years ago, we intended to start with the kitchen, which is right behind this secret curtain, and work outward to the extremities of the property. But that didn't actually happen. We actually started more so on the outside of the property and we have worked our way inward. So far on the exterior of the house, we have built our gardens, our Pilgrim Road music studio, uh, a fully functional wood shop for me and the boys to work together. We also just finished our master bedroom. You can look back on our channel for videos about that project. And right when we were ready to jump into our full-on, full-fledged kitchen renovation, our plans changed once again. The prices of lumber are really high right now and the house actually needs a roof pretty badly. So we have decided to put a roof on the house first and unfortunately the complete kitchen renovation is gonna have to wait until next year. However, we can't wait to make this kitchen more livable and more usable and more beautiful for Lindsay and for the family in the meantime. And so we have done a temporary aesthetic makeover to the kitchen to get us by for another few months. So I'm gonna hand the camera over to Lindsay. She's ex gonna explain a little bit about what needed to happen and also what we completed in this kitchen makeover. Two years ago, when we first moved into this house, it was in really rough shape. And the kitchen might have been the worst part. And like Bracken said, we had just planned to gut it from the beginning and <clears throat> take it from there. And so we always just had this mentality of like, why do anything to it? Because we're just gonna tear it all in anyway. I've just got to the point where I said, Bracken, I just don't know how much longer I can use this kitchen in this shape. And I just made a list of things that I felt were a priority just to improve the usefulness of it. And honestly, a lot of it was just the way it looked it was just really depressing to me. Uh, the floors were uneven. The ceiling is sagging. Uh, the paint was really bad. We had a sink leak, some plumbing issues, and none of the windows open, and it was just dirty. And I just felt like I could never get it clean. So there's just a lot to be desired. But Bracken went ahead and he took my list, and like I knew he would in his miracle working ways, 
he went in there and in just like three days made it like just amazing and it's just really like changed my whole outlook on living here it's just really been like an amazing improvement so I want to show you this in just a minute but before we get into that I just wanted to say that we worked really hard on this as a family and then on the last day I had to run out on some errands when I got back they had been working all day getting the floor put in and when I returned it was just all done it looked so amazing and it was such a good feeling to walk in and see the finished product whoa this looks amazing what a nice transformation So this is not the finished renovation project. This is just a temporary improvement. And um, we still plan to do our major renovation. We need to tear everything out. The floor is rotting in many places. But it's sort of like we just put a really pretty Band-Aid on this space for now, just to make it functional and pleasant to be in. We're gonna walk you through some of the major projects that we did in here. And uh, we're gonna start with the sink. So we replaced the faucets, tore out the old ones. They were really bad. So we did, uh, we refinished the sink by sanding it and then applying a, uh, a strong paint layer. So it looks a lot better now. And then this used to be old, uh, almost rotted wood, so we sanded it down, put glue on the metal and the wood, put down this sheet metal to it, so it's a lot better. Then we painted the room. First we taped everything off and Dad came home with his paint sprayer and we, he painted it off in a few hours. The floors in here were really uneven and they were dirty, so we covered it up with some sheet vinyl. Dad installed all these new lights and they're really bright. So I am super thankful, super just blown away and um, we're now that the kitchen is actually like a pleasant environment, we feel like we can do more videos in here, it just like really lifted my spirits. You know, I want to be content in whatsoever environment I'm in, but you know, we can all only handle so much and especially when you're in an environment every day, um, you know, it can start to wear on you. So I hope you all have enjoyed seeing what we were able to do in here. And now we're going to announce our giveaway winners. Who do you think, Mr. Newman? Our first one is Mandy Graham. 
Our second winner is Robert Tuttle. And our third winner is Caitlin Trowbridge. <laughs> All right, thanks for all of you who have entered our giveaways. Uh, if you're one of our three winners from this week for the soap, music, and mug, check the, com uh, the description below uh, and send us an email and we'll get those prizes out to you soon. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. We'd love to have you join us for the rest of the journey. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in a couple weeks for another exciting vlog. We have some new exciting things in store planned for you guys as we move forward into the fall. So with that, everyone come on in here and say goodbye. We love you guys, God bless you, and we'll see you next time. All right, we'll see you next time. Be sure to check out one of our last, latest vlogs or music videos. We'll play some right over here for you to enjoy. God bless you, and we will see you next time. Bye.